All right, I'm on hole number four of the Glen Monarch nine hole cup. I have not, I put myself in the right position on all three of the first holes and I haven't had anything special happen. All three because of me. All right, here's another hole here. So I've got a spot that I picked down here where I'm going to use my sniper. I'm gonna use a Marlin. I'm gonna put my white ring on the rough over here and my white ring on the rough over here by the sand. And I'm gonna use about one top spin. And I need to look at the top spin numbers when I'm out there. You need to go right up to the hole. It is hitting, the ball guide is not lying. So I wanna make sure I got a sniper in, in whatever bag, I t my primary bag. Anything that you can do to speed it up on the course. So, and I'm gonna do a 10% wind adjustment here. So anything we can do to make that faster while we're out there is going to help us. There we go first. Boom. Right at minimum club. And that should be about 1.5 per ring. So I'm in my spot. Now I'm going to adjust my ball. Got two top spin on it. So it's three, five, three, six. It's one, five, ten percent. That'd be four. So there's three. So we're about two and three quarters of a ring. Trying to hit perfect. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look. There's a trough here, so it, if it funnels into that trough, it'll lead towards the hole. So it looks like I'm still just a tit short. And what I did there was, no, it's not unlucky. That's all about wind adjustment. So a standard wind adjustment, if I was doing a full wind adjustment at full club, that would have been one per ring. So that would have been a four ring pull. And what I did there was I did minimum club because I was at right, I was right at minimum club. So with minimum club, it's a, I used my sniper at 1.5 per ring. So that means that uh, if it was 1.5 going into four, it would have been just like I moved it. That would have been two and a th two and two thirds rings. So if I would have moved it to four rings, it would have been another ring and a half forward. With the way that the wind's blowing here, I found on some holes that when you're at minimum club, it's all about distance. I'm gonna shoot that, I'm gonna put a note here on my do as at 1.2 per ring. I'm gonna use a mid number on the next time through and see if I'm getting the distance that I'm looking for because it, what it is is it's it's I'm not I'm not pulling the wind out enough there with a minimum I want to end up just like our opponent where I stop right at the cup especially if you're playing in a tour like this really being critical when you're on these par threes and knowing where you're at can get you closer for those shootouts. I know a lot of people don't like shootouts, but if you come to a hole like this and you go, hey, I know on this hole right here, I put my club in this spot and I do this adjustment and I'm uh, good to go. I'm gonna be really close. You'll win more of those shootouts. All right, that was hole number four of the Glen Monarch nine hole cup. Thanks for watching.